Maine Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my New York and my New Jersey Africans, my Alabama and my Georgia Africans, my Florida Africans, peace and Pan-Africanism. But today I want to focus on my European Africans. Today I want to focus on my European Africans. Last week, there was a Platinum Jubilee celebration for the Queen of England. I want my British Africans, I want my European Africans, I want all my British Empire sympathizing Negro Africans to listen up. Last week, there was a Platinum Jubilee celebration to mark the 70 years that Queen Elizabeth II has been on the throne of the British Empire. Platinum Jubilee celebration marking 70 years that Queen Elizabeth II has been on the throne in the United Kingdom. I saw Negroes all across England. I saw Negroes all across the United Kingdom. I saw Africans all across Europe celebrating and honoring Queen Elizabeth II of the British Empire. Queen Elizabeth II of the British Empire assumed the throne, the monarchy of England on June the 6th, 1952. She assumed the throne of England on June 6, 1952. I graduated high school June the 6th, 1992. So when I graduated high school on June the 6th, 1992, she had already been on the throne for 40 years. June 6, 1952, she gets the throne. June 6, 1992, King Kong Consciousness graduates high school. She has been on the throne for 70 years. She was 26 on June 6, 1952. She was 26 on June 6, 1952. I am at a loss to understand why Africans in the UK, I'm at a loss to understand why Africans in the Caribbean islands, I'm at a loss to understand why Africans in America and around the war, around the world, are celebrating 70 years of British white supremacy, imperialism, and African domination symbolized by Queen Elizabeth II. I'm trying to understand why any African on the planet Earth would be celebrating the British monarchy. The British monarchy more than any other European family. The British monarchy more than any other enslaver of African people is responsible for the greatest number of enslaved Africans. They are responsible for the greatest burden that slavery put on the backs of African people. Why in the hell are we celebrating the face of white supremacy? For those of you who do not know, when the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey the greatest Pan-Africanist of all time and the greatest human organizer in world history. When the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, the greatest Pan-Africanist of all time and the greatest organizer in human history. When the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, the greatest Pan-Africanist Pan of all time and the greatest human organizer in history. When he brought forth the largest black organization in modern history, the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League in 1914. At 
the time Garvey founded the UNIAACL. The British Empire controlled 25% of the world's population. I want to say this again. I need you to understand, overstand, and understand me. I want you to understand, overstand, and understand me. When Garvey created the UNIAACL, the British Empire controlled 25% of the entire population of the planet Earth. When the most honorable Marcus Garvey held his first international convention of the African peoples of the world at Madison Square Garden in August of 1920. During the first great Garvey convention in New York City during Leo season of 1920, the British Empire controlled 25% of all the land and the resources on the planet Earth. I need us to understand this. The greatest enslaver of African people was the British Empire. The greatest dominator of African people was the British Empire. The greatest thief and exploiter and monopolizer and controller of African resources was the British Empire. So can somebody help me understand? why any African on the face of the earth would be celebrating the monarchy of a woman who during her reign as the queen of England and the monarch of the British Empire since the age of 26, June 6, 1952, Queen Elizabeth II was on the throne when Deedon Kamathi of the Kenyan Land and Freedom Army was assassinated. Let me say this again, because y'all don't understand, overstand, and understand the Prince of Pan-Africanism right now. When Deedon Kamathi was executed in 1957, when Deedon Kamathi was fighting the British for control of the land of Kenya, Queen Elizabeth II was on the throne. Deedon Kamathi was executed upon the permission and authority of Queen Elizabeth II. Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown under the authority of Queen Elizabeth II. Chris Ani of South Africa was likely executed under the authority of Queen Elizabeth II. Steve Biko's murder. Robert Sabukwe's incarceration and untimely death, all under the authority of the Queen of England. But we are celebrating. But Nigeria oil, gas, gold, resource rape under the authority of the Queen of England. I'm trying to understand. Jamaica under the Queen of England. I'm trying to understand. All the islands of the Caribbean controlled by the British, all the countries in Africa controlled by the British and we are celebrating. We are celebrating the 70 year rulership of a woman who has caused more harm to African people globally. We are celebrating the rulership of a woman who has caused more harm to African people globally than almost any single person you can name. 